Hello everyone and welcome to Sun Up. I'm Lyndall Stout. Coming up today on the show, we'll return to the North Central Research Station at Lahoma to wrap up this year's wheat field tour. But first, we want to talk about some of the finances involved in running a cattle operation. We're joined with Dave Lallman here in the pasture, our extension beef cattle specialist. And Dave, you have some data in hand that you've been analyzing. What are you looking at? Uh, cost to run a beef cow. We've been on SunUp in the past. We've sort of given folks an update on what we think the average cost to run a beef cow is in Oklahoma. Uh, the Kansas Farm Management Association has an actual data set of uh, farms and ranches uh, costs and so I thought I might just share uh, their results from last year. Okay, what are some of the categories, areas that jump out at you? Okay, uh, first of all, there's in this data set from their, their uh, well, the Kansas Farm Management Association, there's 90 cow-calf operations that contributed to the data. Uh, their average weaning weight in those operations was 581 pounds. So Oklahoma producers can look at their weaning weights and see how they compare. Now these would be 2015 values, so uh, winning weights from last year. Uh, the total cost to run a cow last year according to this data, now that includes all variable costs, fixed costs, interest, uh, labor, uh, re labor return to management and so on, was $1,191 per head, which is considerably higher than it was uh, the last five years, five year average. What does this research tell you about feed cost and pasture cost? They've gone up. Uh, they're compared to the previous five year average in the Kansas data set. Uh, this last year, feed, just non pasture feed costs were about $360 per cow. The previous five years, that number was right at $300. So that's gone up $60. Uh, well, you know, it's compared to that five-year average, so obviously back in 2010, it was probably lower than it was in 2014. The pasture costs, uh, Lindell, were $214 per cow last year in Kansas in this data set, uh, compared to $161 the previous five. So it had gone up about $40 per cow. Like a lot of things, it's just like getting more expensive. Yes, exactly. Let's look at variable versus fixed costs and kind of how some of those compare and in fact what they are. Sure. So the total um, was 1191 Of that, 885 are variable costs, which of course is your veterinary, pasture, feed, and so on. Uh, the fixed costs, which include depreciation, real estate, uh, unpaid operator labor, and other interest charge, uh, is about $358 of that $1,191. Okay, and then as you look at the last five years as a whole, what kind of things really jump out at you? Well, almost every category has gone up substantially. Now, you know, a, a pretty good chunk of that increase when we said the increase was from I think we said from 935 to 1191 okay so that's the, the total increase uh, but almost every category we said the pasture category the feed category the veterinary bill increased some uh, the interest amount increased some because land prices are more expensive than they used to be and so on uh, so most every category has gone up it's not any necessary any one real uh, obvious area that stands out contributing to those increased costs. So as a producer who's managing cattle operation with this kind of information in mind, what do I need to do to continue to make progress toward profitability? Well that's that's a really interesting point and question. First of all, it's good to have detailed data like this and Dr. Doy would tell you that you know they your viewers need to be using or she'd encourage them to use their enterprise budgets there to issue so they can come up with their own values and maybe compare it to a data set like this. Uh, the other encouraging thing that maybe we can talk about in another segment is that a good number, about a third of these operations are very profitable. Another third are consistently not very profitable. But you know, if you don't know what your costs are and and where 
your more important costs are, opportunities to reduce costs and so on, it's pretty hard to make progress. It is. Okay, some great advice and information. Dave, thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. And for a link to some of those management tools that Dave mentioned, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.